This episode of Budget MTG Dex is sponsored by Card Market. Play hard, trade smart. Hi, welcome to Budget MTG Dex. All magic fun, all cards under dollar. I'm David, and today we are once again going to be looking at five must-have magic cards that you won't believe are under a dollar. Now, due to a recent reprinting, these cards have dropped to below a dollar, or maybe they just rotated out. So therefore, these cards that used to be a little bit more pricey have now dropped to below a dollar. So let's have a look at the first card. Mimic Vat. For three mana, it's an artifact with imprint. It states that whenever a non-token creature dies, you may exile that card. If you do, return each other card exiled with Mimic Vat to its owner's graveyard. Then, for three mana and tapping it, we can create a token that's a copy of the card exiled with Mimic Vat, and it gains haste. Then we're going to exile it at the beginning of the next end step. So first printed in Scars of Mirrodin, this awesome artifact allows you to really abuse enter the battlefield abilities. Essentially, whenever a creature dies, we're going to be able to make a copy of that creature for three mana. Now we can combine this card with cards like uh, Shriek Maw, Acidic Slime, or Mold Drifter to really turn it into a value engine. The best part is that it isn't even really dependent on what you're playing, as it can take any non-token creature that dies and start making copies every turn. Also, don't forget that you can also use a sack outlet like Phyrexian Vault to sacrifice the created token for extra value before the beginning of the next end step. Up next is Abyssal Persecutor. For 2 and 2 black, so for 4 mana we get a 6-6 six, six Flying Trampling Demon. Now it also states that you can't win the game and your opponents can't lose the game. There are few creatures in Magic sporting such powerhouse stats for such a low cost. Now, the downside may seem like a deal breaker, however, sacrifice outlets like the previously mentioned Phyrexian Vault or dual purpose Bone Splinters can guarantee you the demon will die when you've brought your opponents down to zero. You can even combine it with his good friend Demon of Catastrophes for extra fun. Sky Shroud Claim costs 3 and a green. Now this is a common sorcery that allows us to search our library for up to 2 forest cards, then put them into the battlefield and shuffle our library. Now there are similar cards which do roughly the same, like Explosive Vegetation and Hunting Wilds. The power that stems from this card, however, is the ability to get non-basic pain lands like Breeding Pool or Overgrown Tomb, and to be able to use them right away essentially ramping us two lands for only two mana. It's unbelievable that this common was actually over a dollar, but now, due to the reprinting in Battle Bond, it's well below a dollar. Up next is Fumigate. For three and two white, so for five mana, it's a sorcery that destroys all creatures. And we're also going to be gaining one life for each creature destroyed this way. Now, if you don't want to fork over the cash for a Wrath of God or Day of Judgment, Fumigate is the next best thing. This board wipe is just as unconditional, and for only one extra mana, it can bring us back into the game with the life gain it provides, especially in large multiplayer games. Our final card is Duplicant. For six mana, it's a 2-4 Shapeshifter with Imprint. Now, when this creature enters the battlefield, we get to exile target non-token creature. And as long as the card exiled with Duplicant is a creature card, Duplicant has the power and toughness and creature types of the last creature card it exiled. It is still a shapeshifter, and that's a lot of text. And even though this card has been reprinted a few times since Mirrodin, only thanks to the Commander 2018 product has it finally dipped to below a dollar in price. The beauty of this piece of removal is that it fits in any deck because it's colorless. It also exiles the creature, which means it gets around those pesky indestructible creatures. And unlike cards like Fiend Hunter or Fairgrounds Warden, the creature won't return to them if they manage to remove Duplicant. Once exiled, that creature is gone permanently. Well, those are five awesome magic cards you won't believe are under a dollar. Now, if you're going to pick these up, we recommend you do so at the same place where we get our magic cards, and that is cardmarket.com. Why do we shop there? Simply because that's the cheapest place where you can get the cards. It's a bunch of stores all working together. You pick the one that has the cheapest cost of the product you want and the cheapest delivery cost. And you just simply buy your magic product there, either sealed or singles. Also, if you want to help us out, make more videos, head on over to patreon.com slash budgetmtgdex. And if you want to get in touch with us, talk to us, let us know if there's new awesome cards coming out that have dropped uh, in price, then head on over to the socials, which is Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter at budgetmtgdex. And of course, here on YouTube, subscribe to us from those powerful decks and device 
everyone can afford. And if you do, don't forget that little bell button to be part of the notifi notification squad and be notified when a new video comes out. That's it. Thanks for watching. I'm David. This is Budget MTG Decks.